Okay, so we got uh, 17 and 18. Um, find the cosecant, find the sine. So we kind of need to know. So. Uh, 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 okay, but more than so katoa, we need to know. Pythagorean zero of triples. Or some tri I don't know. It's not so No, we need. Cosecant. 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 Oh, she can. Cosecant is a hoe because she can't be a hoe. What? She can't a joke. So she's a hot. How, how do you get, uh, how do you know? Uh, Which scan? one's yeah. co or she can't? Yeah. That's the whole co, no co, right? So this one's sign. Right? This is co secant. Right? So co no co. This one's cosine. And this is secant. Co no co. Right? Tangent. And this one's cotangent, which is a but co tan. Gin. So again, co, no co. And so that's how I try to remember them is co, no co. So that's just opposite of the original? Yeah, there, see, so the cosecant is the inverse of the sine. The, or like you said, the flip. Not the opposite. I think of opposite as negatives. So, so I try not to call them opposite. Does that make sense? Um, but they are reciprocals or they, they're flipped. Okay, uh, so this one's a ha, or this one's a ah, right? So that one's a ha. This one's an a, a oa, and this one's an ao. Okay, so sign, so co no co, co no co, co no co. Does that help a little bit? And then C can't be a ho, so that's how I try to remember it now, because of you guys. So. Uh, it kind of flows nicely. She can't be, right? A uh hoe, -oh, so that way she's a ha, huh, she's a joke. So that way I know which one to put there. Because for some reason I can't remember is co she can't a hoe. That just doesn't make any sense. Instead of the co is a hoe, and then that might make sense for you, right? I don't know. But we try to find a way for this to be up here. Does that make sense? There's right. one more room. So, we're trying to get this is uh, <coughs> find the cosecant if the sine, well, that's pretty simple because cosecant is the opposite, or sorry, the inverse of sine. So, cosecant, oops, cosecant of, of theta is just going to be 13 over 12. 12. And then, but here's the hard one cosine and cotangent. See, those aren't just opposites, right? Cosine and, and cotangent, those are not opposites. So what's happening here is if I have a theta, right, then cotangent is AO, right? That means this is A and this is O. So A is 30, or I'm sorry, 3, and O is 2. And so to find the H... Now I gotta know the a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? So a squared plus b squared equals c squared, all right? And so now I have two squared plus three squared equals c squared, right? Yep. So it's gonna be four plus nine. Yep. So that's gonna be thirteen equals c squared. So the square root of thirteen equals c. And now I know what the hypotenuse is. Did you just start working on the other problem? Yeah. Oh, is 17 cents? Yeah, that was easy. Oh, wow. Right? Um, 18. So now we need to go cosine. So cosine of theta is equal to so ka toa. So a over h, right? So my a is 3, 
Well, my h is the square root of 13. Well, what's the problem with that one? We can't have the square root in the bottom. Right? So we're ending up with three square roots of 13 over 13. So that's going to be your cosine of theta. Yay, team. Woo. Questions? Yeah. Answers? I'm the answer to your solution. No. <laughs> what?